Zidane, played by Kasim Akhtar, returned to Coronation Street last year in the wake of his grandmother Yasmin Natsar's Shelley King ordeal at the hands of her villainous husband, Jeff Metcalf, Ian Bartholomew. The heartthrob found himself at the center of the drama as it was discovered he had stolen money from his father-in-law, Hashem el Vincent Ibrahim. After the latter died, Zidane has been keeping things afloat at the Speed Doll restaurant but it could be he will soon be behind bars as he gets a greater part in Stu Carpenter's, Bill Fellows, current storyline on the ITV soap. In recent scenes, viewers and the rest of Weatherfield have discovered Stu supposedly killed a young woman he was having an affair with 27 years ago. As next week comes around, Yasmin is still unsure what to believe but it seems her grandchildren are on a quest for justice. Zidane is soon on the case as he discovers some information from Preg Tinker, Colson Smith, that the detective who interrogates Stu at the time of the murder took early retirement. However, this was laced in mystery as many members of the police force were not told why Detective Lennox suddenly left. With his curiosity piqued, Zidane asks Craig to find out some more details but the young Nazira man has another challenge to face. He and his grandmother receive letters from Stu, who is pleading with them to go and visit him in prison but Yasmin bins them. As she prepares for her fundraiser, Yasmin is told Stu could be released within a couple of days and this leaves her unnerved. By the time it comes for her to deliver her speech at the fundraiser, she becomes panicked about the situation at hand. When Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, later calls at Speed Doll, he finds his friend in the midst of a panic attack and struggling to breathe. As this is all happening on the cobbles, Zedan decides to pay Stu a visit and see what he has to make of the discovery from Craig. Stu tells Zedan about his case files and how these will prove he is innocent of murdering the young woman he was having an affair with. Knowing he needs legal help, Zedan calls at the solicitor's office and asks Adam Barlow, Sam Robertson, to access the case files. When Adam later tells Yasmin, who he thinks knows about the plan, that he has requested the case files, she reels. Now knowing her grandson is helping the accused killer, she confronts Zidan and later when he is on the phone to Stu, the prisoner asks to speak with Yasmin. Instead of listening to what the man has to say, she kills the call. Despite his grandmother being against the idea of contacting and helping Stu, Zidan proceeds anyway and meets up with Adam. The lawyer tells him he can access Stu's case files but it will come at a cost of over £1,200 which the Notzers would need to fork out for. Talking with his sister, Zidan asks Alia Nazir, Sair Khan for help and to support him on his mission to free Stu. They decide they will go halves on the sum and when they next call at the solicitor's office, they are handed the files. Whatever these files contain, it could be enough for Zedan to contemplate murder as he shows how strongly he supports Stu. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003 question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale. When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? 
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in EastEnders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air after as Eden gets the details of detective Lennox who made sure Stu went down for a crime he did not commit, he would want justice. Arriving at the former detective's house, Zedon would want to confront the elderly character about how disgusting his treatment of Stu was. With the man in a frail condition anyway, as it's clear he is coming towards the end of his life, he could confess to everything he did. Seeing red, Zedon could end his life earlier than expected and as he flees the scene, he could forget to clear away all the evidence. This is where the police could catch their killer immediately and with no question he did it, Zedon could be given a life sentence. With this twist possibly on the horizon, the actor who plays Stu, Bill, has spoken out about getting the storyline for his character. The soap star said, when, producer, Ian McLeod first told me the storyline, I thought it was a great storyline and I liked the twist. He then told me that Stu had been in prison for 27 years which surprised me and he told me that Stu had had an affair with a young waitress when he was married and had a child at home and that was a surprise too. But that's why I call Stu a flawed character and I love this storyline because I love that Stu is flawed, I like that he has made mistakes. Will Zedon end up paying the ultimate price as he tries to help his friend?